Play alone. Focus on the story. <laughs> yes, Dad. Hi. Welcome to Cat Dad Gaming. Today we're playing Leave Me Alone. And I gotta say, I am exhausted today. Uh, so I'm not exactly high energy normally, so apologies if I'm like even worse today. But like, I woke up last night with Sasha, the cat, uh, sleeping on my face. So uh, I basically wake up uh, suffocating to a five kilo weight. Uh, that's like about 11 pounds. So uh, yeah, so I woke up with this like five kilo weight trying to smother me to death. Um, so yeah, I, I, did, I didn't have a good night, so yeah. Anyway, that, let's jump on the game. You have to run and see to switch camera. Oh, what? That's awful. Oh no, I hate these control schemes. Okay, that camera is horrible. Because I'm pressing forwards, but I'm walking backwards on the screen. Um, Alright, so what's going on? Cool camera angle though. It's got Resident Evil vibes and Silent Hill vibes of like, you know. Yeah, definitely capturing that PS1 era vibe of having really awkward camera angles, which is pretty cool to be honest. Leave me alone. I, I don't know what happened there. Some dude with like a big ass knife and then it cut to me. So that'd imply I'm dreaming this. I better get ready to meet up with Noah and go camping. Okay. Oh, I, I need to grab the backpack and as a precaution, a lighter in case we decide to make a campfire. Good choice, yeah. So. I turned down the audio because the uh, menu was really loud, but then the in-game uh, the in-game audio was very quiet. It's a little bit awkward. So we're going down. Um, we're going camp him. We're grabbing a lighter. All right, let's go. Wait, which door did I come from? The other one. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we got PS One. Can we go play some like? Let's play some Crash Bandicoot. Take the knife. No, but I can take the lighter. Yeah. Leave the house. All right. Nice and simple. That all. Ah, uh, maybe. All right. I think I'm out. All right. Yeah. This is exactly the kind of music I need to wake up. Leave me alone. That's a very highway to the danger zone. All right, that's an odd hey, shift. Noah. To me. Oh. Excited for this adventure in the forest? Yeah, absolutely, Jackson. This getaway is going to be the best. <laughs> Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. Nothing like a good dose totally of good. nature. Hey, I heard this forest has strange stories, legends of things that roam at night. <laughs> ah. You know how those stories go. Just legends to add more excitement to the experience. Is this like AI voice acting? Major, <laughs> just two guys enjoying the outdoors. <laughs> I hope you're right. But seriously, something really what would you do off if we encountered there. something bizarre out there. Ha ha! Man, if I saw something oh, strange, ha, ha. I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious note, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Nothing major is going to happen. <laughs> Red flags. You always manage to reassure me, Noah. Let's make the most of the night. Okay, the uh, sexual tension between them is palpable. <laughs> you always manage to reassure me. Okay, so it looks like we're probably being followed. Um, guessing there's like a murderer in that van. Whispering Woods. That sounds pleasant, but also creepy at the same time. It's a nice name. Okay. Do uh, appreciate all these uh, like shots to set the scene. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I might be making fun of finally, it, but uh, oh. we've arrived. Finally, we have arrived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get to it. How about this, Jackson? <laughs> you set up the tent, and I'll go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? I don't think people speak like all this. All right. I'll start setting up the tent. <laughs> it, it's something very. Uh, uncanny valley about the way they talk. Like, <laughs> it it feels like aliens uh, were just like someone described how talking was to aliens, and then they tried to copy it. Uh, I don't have a tent, so oh, All right, threw the backpack from the car. People don't camp like this. Like I've gone camping before. 
But you don't just park your car in the forest, you know. Usually you park in like a car park or something, and then you walk through a field or like a nature like path to then get to an area you can camp. Um, <laughs> guys are like major douchebags for parking in a forest. That backpack is much smaller now. Pretty sure when we left the house earlier, it was like a hiking bag on your back. Now it's like a backpack. <laughs> All right, let's go. Retrieve the lantern from the car. All right. I feel like you could have carried both at the same time, though. Uh, who am I to question your carrying capabilities? <laughs> Explore the map and wait for Noah. All right, that's actually pretty good directions. So we have uh, behind the tent or to in front of the tent. All right, let's go right this time. Uh, and I assume, oh, okay, well, it's not that way then. Oh, thought I'd found a hole in the uh, <laughs> invisible wall. So then let's go to the other obvious opening. Let's see if it lets you explore that. It's creepy music. I like it. Okay. Yes, yeah, good good vibes already. I uh I really like the setup actually. I mean I might be laughing about the AI kind of vibes of the people, but like Yeah, this is me being a bit tired and grumpy. Uh but this is yeah. It's cool. Did the camera just switch and I got lost? No? What is this? A graveyard? A graveyard? <laughs> nah, bro, get the hell out of here. <laughs> just walk backwards. <laughs> um, like, I'm not scared of gravestones or anything. <clears throat> Nora's back. Return to the tent. Yeah, like, I'm not exactly scared of gravestones. I actually find them kind of interesting, you know? Like, you can look at them and be like, oh, look at this person, like, or whatever. But, like, a random graveyard in a forest with a random coffin? Uh, just, 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 nah, get out, get <laughs> Leave. Newspaper page found. Title. Macabre discovery in Whisping, Whisping, Whispering Woods Cemetery. September 19th, 1982. The tranquility of the peaceful Whispering Woods Forest, that's a tongue twister, was once again disrupted by a sinister discovery when a body was found in a local cemetery. I mean, usually you find bodies in a cemetery. <laughs> Residents who frequent the forest for outdoor activities and visit the cemetery are perplexed by the disturbing event. Details still scarce, but initial reports indicate that a passerby discovered the body during a morning walk through the cemetery. Authorities were immediately alerted and the are conducting a thorough investigation to determine the victim's identity, as well as the circumstances that led to this ominous discovery. Okay. The area around the cemetery has been temporarily cordoned off as investigators seek evidence and clarification on the incident. So far, there is no information on eyewitnesses or possible suspects. Hmm. Residents are express, expressing unease, reigniting old rumours and dark stories associated with the forest and the cemetery. Authorities are appealing for information, yada yada yada, come forward if you know anything to help solve this dark mystery. The investigation is ongoing. Cool, let's go back to Noah. Hi Noah, I found a cemetery in the forest. Oh, neat! <laughs> That's not normal. Okay, let's see how they respond. Uh... <laughs> Oh, did I get lost? I think I got lost. I don't think this was here before. Unless it was the camera angle shift and I didn't notice. Which is kind of awkward because, like I said, I'm really bad at mapping in games, so... Alright, so this is going to come up later. <laughs> Chekhov's, uh, <laughs> creepy murder basement. How do I get out? Oh, and stop changing! Here, maybe. Like, let me change the camera angle. Don't change for me so quickly. It's so annoying. Okay. Hey Noah, did you find the firewood? He did, nice. Hey Jackson, I brought the firewood. <laughs> Let's set up the campfire. It's Me getting too. late. <laughs> uh, Jackson, do you have something to light the campfire? Do you have something to light the campfire? I brought a lighter. <laughs> it's in the car. I'll go get it. Okay. Retrieve the lighter from the car and light the campfire. Why? This is so odd. Everything about this game is like so uncanny valley. Yeah, it's like the game's so uncanny valley. It's making me really uncomfortable, uh, which is it's really good for the setup. To be honest, I really like this. Um, but just everything is so off. Wow, 
Nothing like the warmth of a good campfire to ward off any weird feelings in the forest. What? I agree, Noah. I agree, Noah. Sometimes, Nora. it's good to escape the urban routine and enjoy nature. Pause. So speaking of which, <laughs> how about telling some spooky stories? They say it's a camping tradition. They say it's a camping tradition. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> I have one to start. Ever heard of the local legend of the silent trail ghost? I have not. Hmm. No, I haven't. What's that story? But I heard it's a local tradition. They say, many years ago, a lone traveller got lost in this forest. He walked a narrow trail. Yeah, these aliens was never are very unnerving. They say now, at night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. Well, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained, but there's always something eerie about this forest, don't you think? I mean, forest the Jerry Lebeck could be, because of the dark. Tricks on us. But hey, <laughs> we're here to have fun. No ghosts are going to spoil our night. Red flag. <laughs> I agree, no. No legend will stop us from enjoying this getaway. Man, you guys are just throwing out these flags left and right. Um, <laughs> a long time passed. Jackson and Noah talked for hours. I feel like these two aliens are wearing human masks and are trying to pretend that they're human. No, it's very late, and I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm <laughs> going to sleep too. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. All right. Good night, Noah. Good so night, you guys went camping. You didn't bring any beer. You didn't bring any food. You didn't bring any chairs. You just sat by the fire talking for a few hours. Um, and I'm clearly sleeping in this tent alone. What was that? That's an epic How scream. How wake up Noah? Where is Noah? Like, okay. Where is Noah? There's one to- No, he's in here. What is he? What? Why, why is Noah just sleeping? Uh, okay. Why was Noah just sleeping on the floor? Why didn't you just like, share the tent? That's like- Easy two, three man tent, you know. I'd even say two man with a lot of like uh, gear could sleep in there. All right, that's very uh, uncomfortable music. Very good, good stuff. Okay, so Noah is totally gonna be in that building. But let's go to the uh, graveyard first. So, where are we gonna find Noah? Ah, oh, this camera angles. <laughs> okay. Noah! Okay, this game has got really tense now. I like it. Good stuff. No? Where the fuck's Noah? Did I miss something obvious like Noah's in the car or something? That'd be annoying if it was that. Sometimes I'll be playing and be like really oblivious to something and then I'm editing the video and it's like really obvious that there's something I've missed like you know it could be like no it's just literally there and I've ran past him you know <laughs> can I just drive drive home sorry Noah <laughs> you were a good friend you shall be missed I really don't know oh the other path that was closed <laughs> let's see if I can just go first <laughs> just run home see you later so what's this way? That's the question. Shit, it's dark. It's such an awkward camera change. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> it's like I'm drunk. Noah! Oh. Creepy. What is that? Oh, it's a... Yeah, totally graffitied, creepy house. Jackson Foss. It's locked. Oh, okay. Yeah, that did not look like a normal house. Um, the window placements were all weird. I mean, it's cool that they give you a chance to find it twice, but like, that would have been much nicer if you have like a separate like article. So, you know, you get rewarded for doing a bit of exploration. <laughs> so I go through the door forwards. And then come out backwards. <laughs> That's relatively new TV considering the state of the rest of this building. Let's just go watch some TV. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh, we have two doors. 
Okay, uh, let's go. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Made me jump. Yeah, now it's dead. No, 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 no. Oh! I'll oh, run from this dude? No. <laughs> no, this camera angle. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I can escape. Oh, this dude doesn't have to open doors? What she? Oh, I'm dead. I hope I don't have to do the whole game again. Wow. You died. My question is, do I go to the car or do I go to uh Chekhov's basement? Okay. What? Couldn't open that door for some reason. He was just like, no, I can't open the door now. Yeah, so look at this. So apparently I'm too close to the door to open it. I have to be like, so annoying. All right, so let's not go to the door. There we go. What? He's getting me through the wall. Cheating git. Yeah, let's just keep running this way. Hopefully that's, uh... There we go. Oh, he's right there. This is a really weird chase because he's so silent. Let's not go to the car first. Let's do the, uh, creepy murder basement. It feels odd that there's no music now. Okay. Motor basement got anything? Feels like now should have music. Okay, now if not this, then we go to the car. Okay. Nice. Uh... Oh, it's the beginning of the game! Alright, alright, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> that's locked. Okay. Very nicely done. Very nice. Can I run past you? Shoulder barge him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> that was cool. Right, that was Leave Me Alone. Uh, really cool game. I like that. The atmosphere is really good. Uh, the uncanny valley of uh, everything is just really, really off-putting, but I think it actually really works for this game. Um, yeah, good stuff. I really like the chase. Um, yeah, love it. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find a game for yourself. And if you like the video, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment and all that good stuff. I'll let you out in a minute, Sasha. Uh, yeah, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care. Bye!